What's going on guys? I got my man DC in the chair. He is the newest barber at my shop. He is fresh out of barber school. So if you guys want me to do a little interview, leave me a comment down below and let me know. We can just kind of pick his brain on what his barber school experience was like and what it was like starting out in the shop for his first couple weeks. But DC had a wedding this weekend, so we're gonna give him a nice little burst fade with some texture, kind of a mullet mohawk. You guys know this is kind of my style, one of my favorite cuts to do. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off by combing the hair into place and we're gonna take our number three right into it and cut that side panel down to a number three so we can come in and do our fade. Now guys, I'm gonna start my bald line behind the ear. This is kind of a high taper, kind of a mohawk, kind of a burst fade, I don't really ever know what to call this. We're gonna start the guideline behind the ear and go to the bottom of the vertical bar. So this is kind of a burst, high taper, a little bit further behind the ear, kind of that's what makes it a mohawk. But we'll go ahead and put the line in with the slim lines, we'll go ahead and bald it all out, come in with our shaver, get it down the skin, and then we can start our first step of the fade. Next up, we're gonna come in with our Gamma Boosted and set our open section. If you guys did not see my unboxing on the Boosted, definitely go check it out, guys. You can already imagine, it's one of my favorite clippers already. We're gonna set in our guideline about three quarters of an inch up. Again, following the same exact shape as the trimmer guideline that we set, and then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. So we'll start with our clipper all the way closed. And guys, one of my favorite things about the Rebel or the Boosted is that the clipper closed will take out that ball gun line. They're not necessarily zero gaps. That is just kind of how they have to be set with the stretch bracket, but they will take out the ball line. Then we're just gonna open them up a little bit further, work our way up, and then we'll open them about halfway and take out the last little line in this section before we move on. Now we're gonna come in with the one guard open, guys, and we will go up another about a half an inch. So we're gonna follow the same exact shape as our guidelines. And guys, that is why I believe guidelines are so important. It's going to allow us to maintain the shape that we want in this haircut. Now that we did the open one guideline, guys, I wanna go ahead and connect everything together to the top, and then we can take out the last guideline. So I'm gonna come in with the number two all the way closed. We're gonna to start to connect that together to our open one, and then we'll come in with our one and a half halfway open and take that last line out, leaving only the line between the open one and the open section. Now we're gonna to start to attack that last guideline with our closed one. And guys, we just understand, we know our clippers, we know our setup, that the closed one is not gonna take that line all the way out, so we will need our half guard. And we'll come in and take that line out with the half guard after this. Now we're in with the half guard halfway open guys and it should be the sweet spot to take anything out that is left between the closed one and the open clipper. Now we're gonna go ahead and edge up the vertical bar before we move on to the other side. All right, now we're gonna move on to the other side using the same exact steps as before. So you guys follow along in the color guide down below. And guys, this is the last chance for you guys to get tickets to my hands-on course. Everything I talk about in these videos, guys, we're gonna go in depth and break that down. I wanna show you guys how to apply these systems to any haircut that walks in. So I know you guys watch my videos and you guys hear me say the same things quite a bit, but in this hands-on class, guys, I'm really going to reiterate why we do things that way and make it make sense for you guys so that you can approach any haircut that you guys see in the barbershop and you will never have a question about how to go about it. Guys, we're also gonna break down my fading steps all the way down to the millimeter so you guys will actually be able to understand why the half guard halfway open is the sweet spot and things like that. Guys, I promise you this class will absolutely be worth it. Not only that, but you guys will be there with me. I will answer absolutely any question that you guys could have. And there's no question that you guys should leave with a full understanding of tackling all these different haircuts. And I promise you guys, I will help take your game to the next level. So if you guys wanna get tickets, it is almost sold out and you guys don't have much time left, but check the link in the description. Grab those tickets if you are still interested and I hope to see you guys there.
right, so we're gonna clean up this back neckline. You guys can see it. He didn't really want a crispy, like, rounded lineup at the bottom. So we're just gonna clean it up with a featherizer, and then we can come in and start to work on this finished style. So I decided to add a little bit of texture in the back. He said it was laying kind of flat. So you guys see we're gonna work our feather razor down and then I got a new technique I kind of learned, guys. We want to comb some of the hair out of the way that we've already done with the feather razor to get the layers underneath. So you guys see I comb the hair to the side, leaving that top section out of the way and then I'll comb it back down and hit that section that's underneath and we'll just continue to work our way down, making sure that we get that texture worked in through the whole back of the head. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up his front hairline a little bit more. I wasn't really sure how boxed in he liked it, but he said he really doesn't like to mess with a lot of length in the front. So we're just gonna come in and give him a nice sharp hairline without going too short so he can have a nice finish style. All right guys, so I'm gonna add statement grooming spray and a little bit of Marmara Space Wax, and then we will come in with our diffuser and start to work this finish style together. So you guys kind of want to use the diffuser like a curl sponge. At first when the hair is super wet, you don't want to put it directly on the scalp because it does get a little bit hot. But use your fingers guys and just kind of scrunch the hair around until you start to get some texture and start to get that hair dry. And then you can put the diffuser more in the hair and use it like a curl sponge and start to really bring that texture out. Now I'm just gonna come in with a combination of my fingers and a wide tooth comb and just really work that finished hairstyle the way that I want it. We're gonna do just a slight enhancement to his vertical bar just to accentuate the vertical bar and kind of how high that burst fade is. I know I'm gonna get flamed for calling it a burst fade, it's a mohawk, whatever it is guys, but it's a high taper. We wanna really accentuate that long vertical bar. So we're gonna do a slight enhancement, hit it with the razor. You guys can check out the finished cut. Now this hair was still looking a little bit wet, not quite styled all the way that I want. So I'm gonna throw some 245 pure powder in the top, shake it through. Guys, that's just gonna really dry up any moisture left in the hair that is allowing it to fall down and not be styled how we want. We'll just kind of shake that through, and then we can work the last finish style and get it exactly how we want it. All right guys, that is my man DC. Kind of a high taper, burst taper, burst fade mohawk. I don't know what to call it. I always get called out for calling it a burst fade. But kind of a mullet mohawk, guys. We got them together for the wedding. I saw some pictures from the wedding. I call them them HDs, and they were crispy. Like I said, guys, if you want me to interview DC, just kind of pick his brain on what it's like to be a new barber and how it was going through barber school, leave me a comment down below, and I will do that as soon as possible. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got a lot more content coming. I'm gonna document my entire hands-on tour as well as some of the unboxings and tutorials I have coming soon. Guys, I got tons of content. I'm wanting to go to three videos a week, so you guys don't wanna miss it. So make sure you're subscribed and got your bell turned on. You guys know that I appreciate it. All of you that watch my channel have been supportive this whole time. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.